Markers in DaVinci Resolve, super useful feature, let's get straight to it. So what are markers? Markers are basically multicolored sticky notes in your timeline that represent a particular event in your timeline. So if I hover over a particular marker, it will show me what the marker represents in the timeline. Now the cool thing about markers is that if you double click on them, you can enter a name, you can add notes, keywords and set any particular color for the marker. Then all you have to do is press done and the marker will be ready. Now you can add several markers in your timeline and the timeline is always huge. So you can't search for any particular marker throughout the timeline. So what DaVinci Resolve has done is that it has a feature that shows a listed form of all the markers. All you have to do is go to the edit index button, click on it. Then you'll see all of this data that you totally don't need. So just click on these three dots and go to show markers and select all. Again, you have all of this data that you don't need. So all you have to do is right click on the first column and unselect all of this stuff. The only stuff that you will need is just first let me unselect all of this stuff. Yeah, so the only stuff that you need is source in, which is the starting time of the marker and the color and notes. That's all you need. So if you go to this, you'll see all of them in a listed form. One thing that you have to remember is that if you double click on a marker, if you add a name to it, it will show in the notes section. And if you add a note, let's say, hello, just a random note, then it will be represented after a hyphen in the notes section itself. If you right click here and select name, nothing will be shown because the name is shown in the notes section itself before the hyphen and the notes are shown after them. And if you don't add a note like this, if I don't add a note, the name will be represented in the notes section itself as you can see here so don't confuse name and notes simply unselect name and keep on adding notes that's all you have to do so that's how you can create and use markers in davinci resolve now if you are a video editor you must have understood what markers do but if you are a youtuber if you upload youtube videos like myself markers can also help you in creating chapters for your youtube videos you can export chapters from davinci resolve itself you don't have to type chapters in youtube studio let me show you how it's done first step that you have to do is you see this time code here it represents hours minutes seconds and milliseconds the video is of about 5 minutes and 29 seconds but it's not of 1 hour but for some reason it shows 0 1 here right so we don't want that all you have to do is right click on the timeline you're editing in go to timeline and select starting time code and here instead of 0 1 type in 0 0 that's all you have to do hit ok and your time code will start from 0 hours 5 minutes 29 seconds 34 milliseconds that's the length of the video that is the first step second step is that make sure that you have a marker at the beginning the absolute beginning of the video where everything is zero why because on youtube if you want to create chapters you'll need to have a starting point which should always be zero the absolute starting point so once you have that marker you are ready to export the chapters how to export the chapters simply right click on the timeline again go to timelines then go to export and go to edit index then select the location that you want, name it anything and make sure that it is in the CSV form and Excel sheet form and hit save. Once the timeline has been saved, just go to the location and open the Excel sheet. Now again, we have all of this data that we absolutely don't need. All we need is the source in and the notes. Let me show you. That's all we need. These two columns. So what you have to do is just follow the steps that I do. Hover over the A letter. That is the first column. Okay. Hover over it. Select it. Then go all the way to the last column, which is W here and again, hover over it, press shift and then click on that column. What it will do is it will select all of these columns. Now, like I said, we only need notes and source in again, hover over G, press control this time and press on G. That is the source in the letter above source in and again, press control, go to U and click that. What it will do is it will unselect both of these. Then right click on any selected letter and click hide what it will do is it will hide all of that data that we don't need and it will show only the data that we need which is source in and the notes now all you have to do is select all of this stuff right click copy go to your youtube studio go to the chapter section and here paste it the chapters are here one last thing that you have to do is simply remove the milliseconds because youtube does not need the milliseconds and there we go the chapters are ready simply hit on save let it do the thing once it has been saved if i go to my video as you can see the chapters are here if i click on this all the chapters that we had created 
are in the timeline so that's it for the video guys that's basically how you create markers how you customize them how you see them in a list and how you export them for youtube i hope you find this video useful and if you do make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people also share this video and finally consider subscribing to the channel i post such how to tech videos tech reviews i stream games on the channel every week and i post some knowledgeable and informative youtube shots so that brings us to the end of the video guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you all next time bye bye